Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome to story time at the library. Today the Nights are getting darker, it's getting colder out, and it's really easy to get kind of spooked out around this time of year. So today we are having a not so scary story time where we talk about all of those scary things and how maybe they aren't so scary after all. I have the perfect not so scary book for you right on the shelf over here. This is Ed Emberley's Go away, big green monster. Look at that, we've got our title page, and here, the first page of the book, it says, big green monster has two big yellow eyes. Look at those big yellow eyes. Hmm, you know what? I have a friend to help me tell this story. Let's see if we can act it out with my puppet friend. Big green monster has two big, yellow eyes. Oh my goodness, there he is, big green monster with his two big yellow eyes. Yikes. A long bluish greenish nose. Look at that long bluish greenish nose. A big red mouth with sharp white teeth. Oh my gosh, those sharp white teeth sure are scary. Two little squaggly ears. <gasps> oh, do you see those two little squaggly ears? Oh, scraggly purple hair. Oh my goodness, it is scraggly. And a big scary green face. What do you guys think? Does this face look scary to you? Hmm. Well, let me show you a little trick about what to do when you get scared of something. You tell it to go away. Let's take a look at this monster and say, you don't scare me. Can you say that with me? You don't scare me. So go away, scraggly purple hair. Go away, scraggly little ears. Go away, long bluish greenish nose. Go away, big red mouth with sharp pointy teeth. Go away, two big yellow eyes. And don't come back until I say so. What a lovely book by Ed Emberley. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can check this book and lots of other not so scary books out from the library. Around this time of year, the same time of year where it starts to get a little dark and spooky out, we also see lots of pumpkins. Sometimes we carve them and turn them into jack-o'-lanterns. Sometimes we go to the pumpkin patch where we see them all lined up in the fields where they grow. Sometimes we bake them into some sweet treats. So let's see if we can do a chant all about the pumpkin. For this chant, we're gonna stand up and we're gonna tap our knees three times while saying the word pumpkin, like this. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Can you do that with me? Let's go, we'll put it all together in the chant. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin bread. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin head. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin eye. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin cake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin shake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin stew. Pumpkin, pumpkin, 
pumpkin, pumpkin, boo. Great job with that pumpkin chant. Grab a pen and a piece of paper. It's time to practice our writing. And remember, even if you aren't following along with the word I'm writing, as long as you're putting pen to paper, you're practicing those pre-writing skills, which are gonna be great for when you start going to school and learning how to write. Today's not so spooky word starts with a capital letter. Let's find out what this word is. Hmm. A B. What's this next letter going to be? Hmm. O. O. B O O. B O. Boo. Chant. Will you join me in singing a rhyme about five little pumpkins? We'll do a finger play and we'll get out five pumpkin fingers. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, Oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, There are witches in the air. The third one said, But we don't care. The fourth one said, Let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, Isn't Halloween fun? Ooh, with the wind and out went the lights and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Great job, guys. High five. It's almost time to go, but before we do, I wanted to talk about some of the scary things that we encounter in life. Some of the things that I'm afraid of and some of the things that maybe you're afraid of. One of the things I am afraid of is the dark. It gets all scary. You can't see behind you. You can't see in front of you. You don't know where anything might be. Whew, it's just a little bit scary to me. I also get a little bit afraid of sharks. I don't know why. They've always just been an animal that I just would not care to meet. A little bit scary to me. What are some of your fears? Hmm. Yeah. If you'd like, you can share your fears with me by posting them on our Facebook page. We'd love to hear what you are afraid of. And now, here is the most important part. Just like with Big Green Monster, at the end when we told him to go away, we're going to face our fears by telling them to go away too. So let's think of our deepest, darkest fear, the dark or the monster under the bed, and we're going to make it go away. Let's say, you don't scare me. Can you say that with me? You don't scare me. So go away. Let's say that one more time. Tell your fear to go away. Go away. Awesome job. Great. Now we're very brave and strong and we can face the dark fall evenings knowing that we're not going to be afraid. Fantastic. Let's sing the goodbye song. Are you ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.